So the new season just started a few days ago and we are sadly starting this season in a bronze 47 at 48 LP. <laughs> now to be fair last season I did say I was gonna climb all the way to masters but shit pops up and you know things don't really happen like that but this time around I'm way more optimistic because I'll have way more time to actually be climbing because you know life happens um so we spin the wheel every day and whatever champion we get is the champion we're gonna stick with but since the new season just dropped i'm gonna spin a wheel with only the new champions irelia malphite and zillion and whatever champion i get is the one i'm gonna be sticking with um if we get Ire um, irelia i'm gonna be doing irelia azir if we get Malphite, I'll be doing Malphite Talia. And if I get Zillion, I'm going to be trying Zillion Victor. Um, but we'll see what happens. And we'll just get right to the wheel and see what we get. So we're going to spin the wheel. And whatever champion we get out of the three new champions is one we're going to stick with to climb. Um, honestly, the only one I don't want to get is Malphite. But we'll roll and see what we get. So, Zillion, the deck I wanted to try was going to be Zillion Victor, but I'll do some research on what people like are playing with Zillion, and then we'll go from there. I have seen Zillion Twisted Fate Fizz, but I don't know, man. That deck feels way too degenerate. <laughs> um, I do know that Malphite and Zillion also could work together because of the landmark synergy, but oh, we'll see. So this is a deck um, that a lot of people are playing where it, it revolves around obviously Zillion and Victor but mostly Zillion's ability to predict. So because of his ability to predict cards like, uh, where is it, Kari is, they're really good cards now where they previously weren't where every time, every each, when you predicted after that these, you get a 3 cost 4-4 four, four, which isn't bad. Then we got this, which if you predict a man, uh, a landmark, you get elusive, which is a big deal because Zillion gives you a lot of landmarks by shuffling these time bombs into your deck. For those of you that don't know what the time bomb does, basically when they're summoned, you advance every other time bomb by one round and you deal one damage to everyone of your enemies once they reach zero. Um, then we also have... Uh, Soothsayer, which is a good way to protect our cards, and giving Spell Shield is really important on Victor, especially. Um, we got the Scrying Sense, which I think is a really, really ridiculous card. Giving a, an enemy minus one, minus two, and then predicting is too much utility to like pass by. Then, in case all that doesn't work, we got the funny ass Kari the Return. For those of you that don't know what this is, when this gets predicted, all of all copies of this card everywhere get plus two plus two. Um, I might actually play a third one. Yeah. So, I like this card a lot. Um, Mogwai made a deck out of this, and it was so much fun to play. But I think in this deck, it's good to have this as a backup because, in case you know our main win cons don't work, it's always good to have something to fall back on. And I think this deck is actually not too bad, honestly. Um, but we'll see. Whatever we get to, we'll get to. But we're starting today at Bronze 3, 48 LP. Yeah, we're kind of in the dog lows, but whatever, man. We'll get out of here. <laughs> So we're playing against what I think is one of the better decks in the world right now. Irelia and Azir. It's gonna be shit. Like it's it's a tough matchup. 
but what works really well with these guys because they play such low people is our um our zillion if we can get to him fast but it's gonna be tough to get there <laughs> i guess now the student card over here what makes this card so good is that right off the bat it'll have plus four plus one plus one because of these landmarks right and i think three cost four four is a pretty decent stat line and you're always going to be able to play, so it really doesn't change much uh mystic shot's really good against there against night see what we see so I don't know why he passed the first round. Passed the I think that was pretty stupid. But. So again, Death Ray is not a card I would normally main deck at all. But I'm trying something new up. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. It can be undone! One thing I do feel like my deck could be missing is landmark removal and with um, the meta being very landmark oriented, that would be good to put in. Everything's better with company. Says you. See, the reason why I put Death Ray in is because a lot of the Irelia decks revolve around cards like this. Cards with one attack or one health that just scale like crazy, I guess you could say. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. With the two cost card that they always have. Or that as well, that makes sense. shot this and if he attacks I'll act differently Brilliant design. 
The oasis of the dawn flows again. I summon this because if I give it a spell shield, it won't get spell shield. Yes, of course. Yeah. Energy core upgrade. Really lucky, obviously, but yeah, we take those. <laughs> I'm ready. No more waiting. So I'm assuming he's passing over and over again because he has the. Yeah, Show them no something. weakness. That he doesn't want me to kill. We have the life steal, I'm just taking this. Navari, formation. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, that was a bit easy, but I think at the same time, I don't know how good what they drew was, but we we'll take it. I don't think they brick. That's the thing. I don't know where the brick is for that deck. But we take those. So, Thresh misses being one of the dominant decks in the previous meta. Um, we'll see. The thing is, our deck isn't really crazy on the for a card like Nasus. We have removal, but for a card like Nasus. So. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I was either gonna do this or that. I was just debating it, but whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Always forward! Right, Arda. 
<laughs> I'm probably gonna open attack because if he blocks this. Let's go! This one's a fighter! I could have played this, but I'm saving this for keeping Victor alive. Oh yes! She does love music! Because I know this deck plays a lot of vulnerable cards. He did that to get the slay on that. Genius in action! The slay for my Life steals big. Emperor commands the land obey. Worries fall from us like water. The desert by my side. Our vision for the future has never been clearer. Land and blood! You are not welcome. For this, holding on to this for if he doesn't. I'm not really worried about my life because my life steal was good. And then giving it spell shield, also big. We just got regeneration. Whatever. I didn't like any of those options. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. What was out there? There's nowhere to hide. Something this because you can so drive. Eager to rush in, Kahiri. Even this? I'm telling me to wait. And then oh, you're all impossible. The Nasus attack is open. Now I don't think anything gets slayed except for this. If I'd forgotten them, oh. I'm getting the mystic shell in the hand. It's kind of big. <laughs> Controlling time if you're just gonna waste it. What good comes of mortal greed? Punishment if I serve as an example. This is just to get a uh, discard fodder for um my Gaxite next time. Game? No time 
time for this. You can have an atrocity. That was bad. Okay, okay, okay. That's just, that's okay. Oh, this is tough. It's really tough. Now this guy levels up. I think this is a girl. Yeah, it's just a Next turn he attacks with that and... Unless I draw some removal right now for it. Which I don't think this deck can even have, but we'll see what happens. I don't think he can possibly win this. I'm just giving it tough because I know we already lost. Yeah, yeah. That's annoying. But, whatever. It's a good day. Nasus Thresh still seems to be really strong. So, Ezreal Draven, um, the thing with, oh, I should shuffle that too, uh, the thing with, uh, Ezreal Draven, you need removal early, so I guess get excited is good, but I'm aiming towards getting all my removal cards as fast as possible. The thing is, uh, Zillion is pretty good because those time bombs, dealing one damage to everything is pretty decent. All paths leave me here. Do they have Ravenous Flood? Do they play Ravenous Flood? They do, don't they? Yeah. Shit. Wait. I've seen you destroy two ally time bombs. Not that you destroyed two ally time bombs. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Can I take that? You're making that worried face that you make. I am worried about portals, paradoxes, time skips, the void. I wouldn't be Oh, so he passed. I should have passed back. Like Fuck, I'm Even so dumb. I'm telling me to wait. Oh, you're all impossible. Watch, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not that bad. Two ravenous. Yeah. But that's good. All his ravenouses are gone now. What? It can't ya! Out of time. The future is steel and science.
matter is perfection. The new materials, new improvements. So, if I draw Victor off the top of this, I'm the chosen one. I'm not the chosen one. <laughs> Guessing he doesn't want to summon his Ezreal because this deals one damage to everything. But this puts pressure on him to have a blocker or a response. This deck literally only has removal. <laughs> Where's all my predict cards, man? I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I turn it like so. So the double get excited and the mystic shot to the face of this game. That's game already. Because <laughs> that's such a low roll for this guy. Holy shit, that sucks so badly for him. What the hell? <laughs> Poor guy, man. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> that's funny. So out of three games, we won two, but I think the second game is just too Nasus Thresh, right? And that's a ridiculous deck right now. But I think that overall, this deck is really good. Um, if I were to give it a rating, it'd probably be like a 7 or 8, um, with 10 being like extremely overpowered and 1 being dog shit. Um, I think that... One thing that's really good about this deck is that it never runs out of gas, really. Because the ability to predict always gives you options. Like You're never not out of, op out of, out of options. Um, 
And that's the best thing is that this deck gives you the choice. And as long as you make the right choices, you're going to do well on this deck. Um, other than that, I think this deck could like could use a little bit of like more offensive power, but at the same time, maybe the whole point of it isn't that it's like a deck like that. Maybe the whole point is that it's very controlly with cards like Mystic Shot, Get Excited, Death Ray, but it has the ability to push over, and I think that's really good. Um, that's it for today's episode. We'll be uploading every other day, or every day, and yeah, hopefully you stick around.